Old Testament, estimated writing dates, 1200 BCE to 165 BCE. Abaddon, also known as the place of destruction or bottomless pit, has historical and religious significance in various cultures, particularly in ancient Semitic religions. In the Old Testament, Abaddon is primarily depicted as a place associated with destruction and death, often mentioned alongside Sheol, the realm of the dead. References to Abaddon in Job 26-6, Job 28-22, Job 31-12, Psalm 88-12, Proverbs 15-11, and Proverbs 27-20 highlight its role as a place of doom and destruction. The Hebrew term Abaddon signifies destruction, or the place of destruction, emphasizing its ominous connotations within Hebrew religious literature. The Old Testament also mentions the sacrifice of children to Moloch. Scholars connect offerings to Baal Hadid with Moloch through a combination of historical, archaeological, and textual evidence, as well as an understanding of the cultural and religious context of ancient Near Eastern societies. One interpretation suggests that in certain periods of ancient Israelite history, there were syncretistic tendencies where elements of Canaanite religions, including the worship of Moloch, were incorporated into the worship of Yahweh. Gehenna, derived from the Greek transliteration of the Hebrew, J. Hinnom, refers to the Valley of Hinnom, south of Jerusalem. In ancient times, this valley was associated with pagan rituals, including child sacrifice to the Canaanite god Moloch. The term Tophet or Topheth is also used in the Old Testament to describe this location, particularly in the context of condemning these abhorrent practices. References to child sacrifice in 2 Chronicles 28 to 3, 33 to 6, Jeremiah 7:31 and 19 to 226 highlight the association between the Valley of Hinnom and these rituals. These passages serve as a testament to the historical and religious significance of Gehenna in ancient Israelite culture. In some legends, Abaddon is identified as a realm where the damned lie in fire and snow, one of the places in Gehenna that Moses visited. In this context, Abaddon is depicted as a place where the damned suffer in torment, often associated with fire. The reference to Gehenna adds to the imagery of sacrifice and suffering, as Gehenna itself was a valley associated with fire and sacrifice in ancient Israelite beliefs. In the context of the cultures that practiced child sacrifice, the victims would have been considered offerings to appease gods or spiritual forces and their sacrifice believed to serve a larger purpose or bring favor from the divine. In this sense, while they may not have been personally condemned or damned, their sacrifice was part of a religious or ritualistic system that involved appeasing deities or spiritual entities. The association with the realm of the dead in both these sacrificial offerings leaves one to consider if offerings made to Baal Hadid and Yahweh passing through the fire of Moloch to the final resting place, Abaddon, the bottomless pit. New Testament estimated writing dates, 50 CE to 150 CE. The New Testament was written anywhere up to 1,350 years later. Presentism involves interpreting the past based on modern values, norms, and knowledge, which may lead to anachronistic judgments or interpretations. The New Testament introduces Abaddon, as an individual entity in the book of Revelation. Revelation 9.11 describes Abaddon as the destroyer and the leader of a locust-like plague emerging from the abyss. This portrayal of Abaddon as an angel of destruction signifies a shift from its previous depiction as a place. Interpretations of Abaddon's identity vary among theological traditions, with some associating it with the Antichrist or Satan, while others view it as an agent of divine judgment or a representative of Jesus post-resurrection. The mention of Abaddon in both the Old and New Testaments underscores its significance in theological discourse, serving as both a place and symbol of destruction and divine judgment across different periods of religious literature.